This cheat sheets have helped me to crack companies like Walmart, Amazon, SAP, Informatica, Paytm, Dun and Bradstreet, and these DevOps cheat sheets can be yours. You have to take the printout of this cheat sheet and put it on your wall. And whenever you wake up early in the morning, see that cheat sheet and remember all the commands and the equations that will help you to get the job. Now, how you can get the cheat sheets, which I'm going to share you as part of the document is that simply watch the video till the end, because I'm going to tell you how the cheat sheets you have to remember and also what you have to do, what is the order of the tools that you need to follow and how you can remember each and every command when the interviewer asks. If you are new to the video, make sure that step one, you like the video and step two, you comment cheat sheet and why you need this cheat sheet. If you are a fresher, I would be more than happy to help you by sharing this cheat sheet because you guys just tell all these commands to the interviewer and he will be damn impressed by your behavior as well as the way you are going to express to him. I'm damn sure about that and you should get a job in 2025. That's what the main target of this cheat sheet is. In this cheat sheet, you are going to get all the tools, every architecture that I was going through in my entire lifetime. So let's go over each of the cheat sheet. I'll tell you what are the steps that you need to follow. So first and the foremost, once you receive this document, print out uh, the document and keep it with you and make sure that you are putting onto your wall as I have told you. So whenever you wake up early in the morning, you see the cheat sheet and remember that, okay, this is what you have to learn or this is what you have learned in yesterday and memorize the things. Okay. So first when we will go with get one of the very important tool structure in in DevOps and SRE, every organization uses Git. And as you are aware that in 2025, the coding is important. So make sure that Git you are aware. So in this, you will be getting Git cheat sheet with a project data branches, uh, rebasing, review your repo, synchronizing, stash, stashing, undoing things, merging. Very simple, simple commands will be there and it will be very easy for you to remember. Once you have completed the Git cheat sheet, definitely the next thing will be your Linux. In the Linux, you have to cover many things guys, not like Git. Okay, basic file operations, file viewing, print, file search, directory traversal, disk management, SSH management, file management, history management, process management, networking management, comprehensive archives management, user group management, user management, access management, file transfer management and text manipulation. So these commands are very much important. Now, if I go a little bit deep down onto the Linux, Definitely, there are some commands which you need to remember. So the top 50 commands which every fresher and experienced engineer should remember are this, which I'm going to give you. You can check out once I give you the drive link or the document link, you can definitely check out. But let me give you an high level, the kill commands, if config, ch own, trace route, wget, uFw, ip tables. These all commands are very, very much important. If I go into the deep dive of Linux, let's say like networking of the Linux, one of the important way to remember is just take this sheet sheet. How lovely it is, right? If config, trace route, IP, ping, route, dig. How do you troubleshoot a Linux system once the application is deployed? How do you make sure your system's troubleshooting ability is good? So remember all these things like curl, wget, tcp dump, if top, uh, scp, F A sftp, nmcli, tshark, vn, stat, bmon, all these are network related commands and what these commands are doing and what these commands are telling you everything is in this document. So let me go ahead and let me tell you some more interesting things. Again, definitely you have to check out what each of the network protocol is doing. So this document is going to help you very much. Let's say 22 port. What is that? SFTP, FTP, uh, SSH. What are these ports actually? UDP, TCP, right? So these all ports are going to game change in your job hunt. So definitely I would suggest you all definitely have this document. Not only that, uh, TCP, UDP, as I have told you, definitely LDAP server uh, ports, DHCP ports, RIP ports, RPing ports. These all are literally it will be a game changer. Now, once you have understood Git, once you have understood Linux, let's move to Docker. So many of you don't know where to start Docker, how to start Docker, what is the commands that will help you in interview. All this cheat sheet will contain one stop solution for you. You just need to remember, okay, Docker container management, 
uh, you can say like image management, container management, and then Docker machine management, network management, right? And then uh, your application management, Docker machine management, CPU management, memory management, how all these things are going to help you with this one single CLI cheat sheet, okay? So let's go ahead. This I call like an ultimate Docker cheat sheet and very beautiful cheat sheet if you are seeing, right? So definitely it's going to have image, container, layer, Docker registry, Docker file, Docker engine, Docker client, Docker daemon and how these things have been designed for you to get a job this one solution will have and also like how do you express your Docker file things everything is in this cheat sheet. So definitely I would suggest you comment cheat sheet and why you need this cheat sheet and 300 plus likes if you have watched the video till the end and definitely check out all the project related things in our YouTube channel and don't miss to watch out the recent videos which will help you to gain some confidence to crack interviews. Let's go ahead. I'm also telling you Kubernetes after Docker is damn sure you should know in 2025. So if you are able to see, take this printout, a beautiful cheat sheet, very important cheat sheet. And the things that are there is no one will tell you it's a secret. Okay. So once you get this cheat sheet, it will be definitely uh, helping you. But on a high level, very important only admins do these kind of work so it will literally help you and i'm telling you that many of the devops engineers don't know this cheat sheets okay so make sure that you have this so kubernetes cheat sheet this cheat sheet you can definitely have it has kubernetes deployments kubernetes events kubernetes roles kubernetes pvc secrets logos uh, logs sorry config maps ingress service accounts replica set persistent volumes multiple resources daemon sets pods namespaces updating managing and deploying the devices or the applications onto your kubernetes cluster now many of you asked me praveen how the kubernetes networking works this one stop solution diagram will help you so you can just see like how the things are working if you don't know like how to uh, read uh, kubernetes or you don't know like how this Kubernetes thing is working, I would suggest you to watch my YouTube uh, playlist of Kubernetes. Playlist 3 will be the Kubernetes where you will get the in-depth details of the Kubernetes. Now, many of you have also asked me, Praveen, top 10 design patterns in Kubernetes. So there are different types of design patterns. I hope you know, like blue-green deployment, canary deployment, rolling deployment, right? Batch job deployment. So all these types of Kubernetes beginner design patterns you can take it uh, and definitely go ahead python again this is damn needed because in 2025 without coding this thing is literally difficult so i would suggest you have this cheat sheet not only this take the printout keep it here whenever you are waking up read this and go ahead with that very beautiful cheat sheet it will definitely help you uh terraform obviously how the terraform works as i have told you in 2025 one of the important uh aspect in learning things, managing things and uh, upgrading things is Terraform coming into picture. And definitely uh, one of the other thing is Helm. So these all cheat sheets will be yours very soon, right? 300 plus likes on this video and share the channel link with your friends, groups and make sure that all of you are getting this document and learning together. So this is Praveen here signing off from this video. I have put a lot of efforts in making this video. I hope you are liking it. Follow me on Instagram and LinkedIn and make sure that you are subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video. Until then, take care.